Brightest blessings, everyone. Psychic medium Elizabeth Grove, the Paranormal Priestess. Welcome to the Paranormal Priestess YouTube channel. Thank you so much, subscribers, for being here, for supporting the channel, for subscribing, of course, for leaving your comments and letting me know how much this channel has been helping you. It's been really just awesome to hear. And thank you so much for everyone who's left comments. I try my best to get back to them. It's not always easy with the work that I do, but I try to read as many of them as I can and as many of them as I can answer. I definitely try to answer. Uh, if you are new to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I know there's so much information out there, so I never take it lightly when someone is drawn to just clicking on uh, a video of mine or drawn to the channel. My name is Elizabeth Grove, uh, for those of you who don't know me, and uh, I'm a divine channeler. I'm also a medium, a spirit extractor specialist, and a divine twin flame on the path to reunion. And the work that I do really encompasses a lot. Uh, so I do all forms of spirit communication, even physical channeling. Um, I speak to the angelic realm very, very clearly. I can channel them through my body. I also am able to speak to loved ones on the other side. Um, I can channel them as well. I can do a lot of different things uh, all under the umbrella of spirit communication. I also happen to be uh, an internationally known spirit extractor specialist. This work is highly unique. I know there's a lot of clearers out there, those who um, are exorcists. Uh, this type of work is at the highest level. Um, and, not, and I don't say that in an arrogant or egoic way at all. It's at the highest level because it's from the light body and it really is angelic in the way that it functions. And I'm able to address the most severe of uh, spirit attachments, demonic attachments, possessions, all, all, all different forms of, um, of negative being attachments and, and possessions and implants, devices, and all different types, all different types of things. And it really has been so key to helping a lot of my clients move on, those who've had interferences and blockages. Uh, I'm so happy to be doing this work. So I can do this all remotely. It, like I said, it is at the highest level using the angelic light body. And I'm using a lot of um, key aspects of my own light body, um, which enable me to do this work because this is a part of my mission work. It's what I'm here to do. So if you are interested in my story, if you are new, you can go to theparanormalpriestess.com. I also have my services listed on there. I also have many testimonials. And I just received some um, really amazing testimonials from those who've had spirit extraction work done with me. And I'm so glad that I was able to step in and really get to you guys in the nick of time, honestly, to be able to help you and, and clear these things out. Um, so I am so proud and so committed and passionate about what I do, what I'm here to do. Um, if you are interested, like I said, the paranormalpriestess.com, that's where you would go. Um, you can inquire if you would like to have a session with me, I do offer 30 minutes. I offer an hour. Of course, the spirit extraction service is there as well. But if you are inquiring about any type of service, uh, the best way is to contact me, of course, first. And you can do that on my contact page on my site. And from there, I'll be able to check in to see if we are a vibrational match, meaning if it is guided, if I am the correct uh, person for you, the correct reader, the correct clearer. It, it always has to go by energy. So I always check in and I'm always honest. So if I am not the correct person for you, I will not collect a payment. I will let you know. So I will let you know either way. But if I am, you can absolutely then make a purchase and get you on the schedule. Uh, so yeah, so definitely if you might want to check that out. I'm also on Facebook too, The Paranormal Priestess. I have my own Facebook page and I also have Twitter. I have a couple of Twitter accounts as well. I have for the for the actual YouTube, which is a Para Priestess YT. And I also have my own personal one, Para underscore Priestess um, for Twitter. So um, I'm going to leave all that information in the description. You just, it gets to be a lot, right? So you can just go to the description, which, um, you know, go there. And uh, I will be able to... Uh, to connect with you, which would be awesome. So this is going to be a really interesting video. Um, by the way, for those who know, I'm here every Sunday, unless I mention otherwise. Uh, but this video, it's going to be something that ha is a brand new uh, ability that just opened up within me. And I wasn't sure whether it was going to be in the highest good to share it quite yet. But as it turns out, my team is guiding me to share it with you. 
So this is only about a, maybe a week old that I have this ability and it's called light language. So for many of you who are on the ascension path who are spiritual, you may have heard of it. You may have heard others speak it. Um, so what it is, is a channeled it's a channeled language. It, all, it also is, a, is channeled light as well. It could also be channeled sigils or codes, light codes, and coming from the higher realms. And this, this type of sound and these sigils and what it brings out, it, it activates. It's a transmission. So it can heal. It can bring in higher information for, for us, uh, you know, in terms of it being... Um, you know, some sort of uh, code, light coding. And it, it was really pretty incredible how it happened because I wasn't expecting it at all. Um, I have Archangel Michael, as I always say, in my corner. So he's he's my main guide, Archangel Michael. And he, he helps me tremendously with all the clearing work that I do. But he's also very present in many of the reading sessions. For those of you who have readings with me, you know Archangel Michael has been on it, especially with Twin Flames, if you are a Twin Flame. Uh, but I was meditating with Archangel Michael. I went to the angelic realm. I had my trusty selenite. I love selenite. I'm literally obsessed with selenite, and it's just one of the most powerful crystals. And it really does connect you with the angelic realm. And it's an amazing, amazing clearer. And I was meditating with Archangel Michael and holding my selenite, and all of a sudden I just started speaking this unknown language of what would sound to someone else to be like gibberish but the energy that it brought the how it affected me how it affected my physical body I was like wow this this must be light language um, I've heard it before um, not knowing too much about it but I've heard it being spoken before um, but I never expected that this would happen but it just happened to have opened up within me spontaneously. Uh, the type of dialect that I have is native to me where I come from. I originate from Atlantis, Atlantean society, uh, as an angelic from Atlantis. So it is a dialect of, uh, of an Atlantean angelic. And I am guided to share a transmission with all of you. And this particular transmit it doesn't matter if you're watching this immediately if you're watching this month from now or whenever it is a year from now so it, it, it absolutely doesn't matter when you're if you're meant to watch this if you're drawn to it then this particular transmission in the way that I'm delivering it resonates with you and the transmission that they want me to deliver is of divine alignment for twin flames that is a very very big deal and I I would love to be able to share this with you okay now before we do this I actually I'm guided to do an angelic circle now for those of you who've had reading sessions with me you know um, I love to call in the, the four corners and the archangels of the four corners and I am a divine alchemist I am a magician um, I could also be considered um, I would say a witch or a Wiccan, sure. Um, I used to be a Druid in another lifetime, but I certainly was a divine alchemist in Egypt. I certainly was a divine magician, divine alchemist in Atlantis. So this this is all innate to me. I, I love magic in its most beautiful, healing, transformative form. All love and light. So I, I want us to be able to do that. I want us to be able to uh, have the four corners and the four archangels around us for those of you who are drawn to receiving this. Uh, before I do that, we're going to do a balancing and grounding. But I do this in my sessions too, just to prepare us for receiving and receiving the highest, highest, purest, cleanest vibrations. So I'm going to do that. So get comfortable for this video, okay? And... Some people may be more comfortable being on their bed. Maybe you're sitting in a chair. I'm sitting in my spirit chair. I call my spirit chair. I, I put my uh, story about my spirit chair on a, on a video. Um, but the spirit chair was most certainly guided to me by my spirit guide. Uh, it advised me that this chair was going to be waiting in a certain store. And lo and behold, it was. Um, spirit chair is meant to be. I do all my work in this chair. So I'm going to be 
having my feet against the ground. So however you can set your roots, let's do that together. You can close your eyes. I'm going to do this all with you, by the way. Let's close, this, close our eyes. And let's envision that roots are growing on the bottoms of our feet. And they're connecting us straight into Mother Earth. So right away, we are connected to the planet and we're shifting our perspective to our physical bodies and also becoming aware of our breath. So we don't have to change our breath. Just become aware that you're breathing. Shift your perspective to it. Be aware of the sensations of your body. Be aware of the room that you're in. And let us give thanks right now for the here and now. Be thankful for where you are today. I know so many of you have come a very long way. I've done so much transformation. Much of it has been very challenging. But let's give thanks for where we are right here and right now. And just take some gentle breaths right there. Remember, everything is as it should be. There are no mistakes. Now let's take a nice big cleansing breath. Okay, and on the exhale, I want you to envision gray smoke or black smoke coming out of your mouth. And we're going to transmute that. We're going to let go and transmute anything that we have been carrying around that's been heavy. Any fears, any doubts, any, any anxieties, any angers, any sadnesses, any disappointments, any impatience, any anxiousness. We're going to let that go and ask that it be transmuted. On the count of three, let's take that nice big cleansing breath and let it all go. One, two, three. Go. Transmute that to light. You can use the violet flame. Okay, now that we have all let it go, we're going to bring in a beautiful gold platinum light. This is going to be the light of the candle's flame, that type of color. And this is going to be the light of source, the Christ light, the light of the divine. So I want you now to visualize yourself stepping into this beautiful, glowing, really brilliant, warm light. And we set the tension, intention now in the Mother Goddess, Father God of Jesus Christ, that this beautiful divine light is shielding us throughout our full existence, meaning all physical bodies, all spiritual bodies, across all dimensions and timelines and all combinations, so that we have the broadest and the most complete of boundaries and shielding. Just take a couple of nice breaths there and just be aware of this beautiful light and how it makes you feel. This light is warm and comforting. This light is unconditional love. This light is unlimited peace. This light is balance. This light is ultimate truth. This light is unlimited support at all times. 
We acknowledge that we are connected to this light at all times because we are that light. So we now affirm that we are stepping into our I am presence, our I am that, our, that I am, the highest version of ourselves. So right away, this raises our vibration and our frequency. We are safe, we're secure, we are balanced. We are divine. Now through the powers of Mother Goddess, Father God, and Jesus Christ, I shall call in the archangels and the elements of all four corners. Okay, everyone can remain with their eyes closed, if you'd like. In the east, calling upon the element of air, I call upon Archangel Raphael to please step forward to guard and assist. Hail and welcome. In the south, I call upon the element of fire, asking Archangel Michael to please step forward to guard and assist. Hail and welcome. Calling upon the element of water, I call upon Archangel Gabriel to please step forward to guard and assist. Hail and welcome. And in the north, calling upon the element of earth, I call upon Archangel Ariel to please step forward to guard and assist. Hail and welcome. I ask you please to bring in your beautiful platinum light to merge with myself and all of my subscribers and all of my viewers who are joining us now. And now set the intention that this light language transmission shall serve all and the highest good. All with love. All with unity consciousness. So be it. And so it is. Amen. Nice couple of breaths there. Just hear the thunder rolling in here in New York. And when you're ready, you can come back to the room. And I will begin the transition for divine alignment for twin flames. I say ke na la shne ke na bre se ke na te ne I na la shne ke sa ta pi ne ne ki na nro sa mi ne re fe sing se na ta O no la va shi ki ya ki ne si te ra shne shi na la va ni sa pe O no shi ga ni te te is mi ra shi te ta la mi sti ke dre shi ni la va shi e na la me sti ke na pe ya va Transmission complete. So this was the light language transmission and I just, you could see I reacted to it with the energy, uh, Atlantean, Atlantean dialect, 
angelic Atlantean dialect, for divine alignment for twin flames. Now the sounds themselves, although it sounds kind of strange, they hold a vibration, a frequency that is a light, light, light codes. And so this will open up within you and assist you and you'll become conscious of what it translates to when the time is right. So there could be a definite shift of awareness for you within time. Um, I'm going to be very interested to hear how this transmission is received, because um, I've never done anything like this before as far as giving it to the public. Um, but I can tell you as far as how I have been working with light language personally. It has been really, really powerful with clearing, clearing from negative energy, um, as well as also helping with healing in many ways. I do a lot of emotional healing with the light language transmissions. Uh, it even helps with uh, clearing negative thoughts, emotions. It helps with pain as well, physical pain. And I just noticed that it just, I feel so much better and the, um, the clearing work is so much more intense when I do use light language. Mm -hmm. So let me know, let me know. I know uh, this was a shorter transmission. Sometimes they're longer. I never know. Uh, by the way, when you heard transmission complete, that would be my team speaking through me physically uh, to let me know that it was completed. And um, it's been amazing to be able to share this with you brand new gift so it was I guess I'm kind of bold for sharing it this quickly but I really feel like anything that could really help people out there I I want to get on it as far as do that um, whether or not I will be offering uh, light language transmissions as far as services or within my reading sessions uh, I don't know. Um, I am actually beginning to use it. Actually, I did use it a couple of times for extractions where it was necessary. So, so it is being incorporated in that way. Not sure about in readings if that's going to show up, but it could. Um, but yes, I did. I did end up using it a couple of times in my extractions. So it's going to be really interesting to hear how that turns out, how it impacts someone. So I hope that you enjoyed this transmission and just to close out, I thank all the elements and their respective frequencies for joining us today and all Archangels of the Four Corners for assisting. I set the intention in the name of Mother Goddess, Father God, Jesus Christ, that all twin flames, in particular twin flames, who are watching this, no matter from where or when they are watching this, that they will be blessed with all that would be in the highest good to help them move forward on their journeys into self-alignment, into divine alignment, and then into manifested union with their beloveds. We are all connected we are all love, and I'm so proud to be on the Twin Flame journey, so proud to be of service. Even with all its challenges and ups and downs, I'm grateful for this. Thank you, Archangels, and thank you, Elements. Hail and farewell. I now close all doors. I seal all of my channels. This session is now closed. I now balance and ground back to Mother Earth, back to Gaia. And you can all do that with me. Let's balance and ground back into Gaia, setting our roots again through our feet, focusing again on our physical bodies, on our breath. And returning back to connection with the earth. Okay, so be it. And so it is. 
Thank you everyone who's watched. Thank you everyone who's listened. I wish you the brightest of blessings. And remember, from the heart of the darkness is born the light. See you all next week, next Sunday. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.